Today on the podcast, we are talking about some really interesting AI news out of Salesforce, a fairly big player in the AI space since this whole big AI boom happened at the beginning of this year. We're going to be talking about some major announcements they have made at their Dreamforce conference in relation to Einstein and what they've been doing over there. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Welcome to the AI Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Make sure that you go to AIbox.ai, link in the show notes, to join the waitlist for our new AI platform. We're going to be launching an incredible platform that allows you to build anything you want with workflows um, in AI. So you're able to chain together chat GPT and image generators and audio generators to make really powerful apps for your organization or you can host them on our marketplace and actually generate royalties from them. So make sure to go to AIbox.ai and join the waitlist. In addition, if you like the podcast, if you could do me a massive favor and please leave us a review on Apple or Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast. This helps me be able to get better guests on here as they check the reviews to see how you guys are liking it. So if you could please do that, I would really, really appreciate it. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, Interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. The big headline here is that a couple days ago at the Dreamforce Customer Conference in San Francisco, Salesforce unveiled its latest addition to the Einstein product line. So they unveiled Einstein Copilot Studio. So this is aimed at enriching the user experience. Um, And this new offering allows companies to customize the capabilities of Salesforce's Einstein GPT and Einstein Copilot. Um, And this is essentially set to better fit their unique business needs. So Einstein Copilot Studios is comprised of three key components, the prompt builder, the skills builder, and the model builder. So Clara C., who is the CEO of Salesforce AI, elaborated on these elements stating, quote, the first piece is the prompt builder designed for customers eager to tailor the prompt templates featured in Einstein GPT. This customization enables businesses to add their own unique prompts related to their products, brands, or particular market needs that the base offering might not cover. End quote. So not really stopping at customization, the skills builder takes fun- functionality uh, a step further on all of this. And essentially what it's doing is it is enabling companies to add specific actions to prompts. So C um, explains that the skills builder, um, Einstein Copilot, really kind of transcends mere data retrieval and Q&A functionalities. Businesses can now control and designate the specific workflows Einstein Copilot can access and execute. So examples include, you know, running competitor analysis or handling objections, features that make the tool, I think, a lot more responsive to the needs of a very dynamic business environment, which is what we're seeing today. So the third Um, thing that they have added here and announced is the model builder. So this offers a level of customization that large enterprises with in-house data science teams are going to find really attractive, right? Because not all companies are just these, you know, medium-sized businesses that don't have the resources, right? There's a lot of really large companies that are using Salesforce, um, getting a lot of value out of it, and they may have their own in-house data science teams. So those businesses in you know those situations can integrate their own models or utilize supported third-party offerings from Anthro- Anthropic, Cohere, Databricks, Google Cloud's Vertex AI, and OpenAI. So according to C, this is an extension of the you know quote "bring your own model" concept that Salesforce introduced earlier this year. And Brent Leary, who is the founder and principal an- analysis at CRM Essentials really says that this, um, he calls this, right, the integrated approach of Einstein Copilot Studios and says, uh, quote, the power of studio is it's the place where all the components are accessible from across the Salesforce platform, which is a major part of simplifying prompt and skills, creating a creation for admins that address real world use cases specific to organizational needs. So that was Brent Leary that said that. But Salesforce is not, you know, obviously blind to the challenges of implementing AI. I think particularly large language models that can sometimes produce 
uh, results that are inaccurate or you know inappropriate. And to mitigate these risks, Salesforce is developing the Einstein Trust Layer. This is really interesting, and I've seen similar offerings, third-party offerings, um, at a number of the number of different companies are doing. Um, specifically, when I was at the AI4 conference, I saw a number of different companies that were they were building these unique trust layers that kind of sat be- between, you can imagine, ChatGPT and the end user response, where um, essentially it's looking at the response ChatGPT is giving. It's like a middle layer, and it's making sure um, it's accurate, it's safe, it's not giving away any personal personal data that it's not supposed to. It's not saying anything it's not supposed to, right? And of course, ChatGPT and OpenAI they build in their own trust and safety layers and protections. Um, but those don't always catch everything that companies are concerned about and enterprises are concerned about. And so this appears to be the same approach that Salesforce is taking. And essentially this from Salesforce, their Einstein trust layer, is designed to help companies manage security, governance, and data privacy. So utilizing cloud data, um, initially introduced as Genie at last year's Dreamforce, Salesforce aims to enhance the accuracy of answers provided by the AI. So moreover, Einstein Copilot Studio allows for turnable responses. So depending on the risk associated with a given question, companies can decide whether to automate a response or involve human oversight, right? I think this is a really good uh, a really good play because sometimes, um, you know, what the model might think is is risky or needs to be um, looked at, at the, on the trust layer. It really isn't that, uh, you know, isn't that confidential. Or maybe it's the CEO or the head of a department that has the, the you know, access to that information. And so, I think it's a great, uh, you know, opportunity for them to, you know, you can have this automated or you can have this uh, involve human oversight to decide if it really needs to be audited. So C kind of points out for, you know, lower cost or lower stake queries, like, you know, the cost of a wire transfer, something like that could, you know, full automation definitely would be fine for those types of questions. However, for tasks involving, you know, significant financial transfers, human intervention, um, and, you know, a lot of different areas, human intervention would probably be wise. So I think despite concerns that AI adoption could lead to job losses, C sees a silver lining and says, I think it's a big moment in time um, and there will certainly be impact to certain jobs and there will also certainly be new jobs that are being created such as the prompt engineer. So that's what, um, that, that was the full quote she said. But I think Einstein Copilot is really set to enter a, a pilot phase this fall with the Einstein Trust layer to be made generally available across the Einstein platform in the coming month. So exact launch dates were not specified by Salesforce, but I think this is a really interesting roadmap. We know what they're coming out with and what they're working on. And so we have a lot to look forward to coming out of their platform in the coming months and year. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. TIAA is on a mission. Why? Because 54% of Black Americans don't have enough savings to retire. So in collaboration with big name artists like Wyclef Jean, TIAA released Paper Right. New music inspiring a new financial future. With 100% of streaming sales going to a nonprofit that teaches students how to invest. Stream Paper Right now and help close the gap. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate me wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure you check out our Discord channel and also our Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can actually share software tools, prompts that we're using in everyday AI. I'll leave a link for those in the description below.